Hello YouTube, here we are with Dell C521, and I got a new wireless card for it, since my old one, the antenna lead actually broke, I got a uh, DWA525, which is low profile, which I bought simply because it was low profile, and it will fit in this case properly, and hopefully the card performs well, the, the reviews on Newegg were mixed, so <clears throat> hopefully they aren't too, too bad. I also got a few more new items today from eBay. I got a uh, 9500 GT, low profile capable. Nice looking card right there. And I also got a processor. I got an AMD Athlon 4200 Plus for about 20 bucks. 20 bucks for an X2. Not bad at all. I find it funny that the uh, this guy def this is definitely a techie because the uh, the mylar bag he used is uh, a Western Digital bag. <laughs> That's something I would have done. Now what's in this machine currently is uh, three gigs of RAM that I got out of the uh, at the ASRock board in the previous video, and uh, <clears throat> a Sempron, a Sempron thirty six or thirty eight hundred plus is in this machine and Semprons are they 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 can't take much abuse because they don't have I don't think they have L3 cache at all. I think it's just 512k of L2 cache and that's it. <clears throat> I'm not sure. It might be 256k. Well, I don't know. But in any case, it's getting a dual core put in it which is sitting in that bag right there. So, let's get it started. There's the processor itself, named the Athlon X2. This thing has no bent pins either. Absolutely beautiful. That's the one thing that AMD CPUs, with AMD CPUs, the pin, I, you always have to worry about the pins. So, that processor's going to go in this machine. Well, this box was in the box for the graphics card, so... Focus, you stupid camera. Let's get the card out and take a look at it. Oh, wow, look at this. This thing's tiny, man. Very tiny. The fan's a little... The fan seems to spin well. That's good. It's got, uh... Ew, there's like a bunch of dust on one... There's a bunch of dust on that capacitor there. Look at that. <laughs> it's kind of nasty. I need to clean that off. This was definitely used in a computer. This card uh, has... DVI, S-Video, and VGA. The VGA portion is probably going to go away once I uh, put a low-profile bracket on it, though. Assuming it doesn't come with one. Let's see if it does. Let's see, I get a... Uh, XFX Play Hard. Uh, support card. I don't know what that's about. Uh, let's see, I get the CD... A bag with nothing in it. Do I get a bracket? No, I don't get a low-profile bracket. Balls. <laughs> Which means I have to go fetch one out of my closet and put one on there that probably doesn't fit the card properly. Oh, the nice thing is I can put the high-profile, bra the, the regular-sized bracket back on if I have to. So I'm going to go put the low-profile bracket on. There, the high profile brackets off the card. And I have a low profile bracket I stole from another card. <laughs> Which does not work for the S video connector at all, but it does work for the uh, DVI. So now I have a low profile capable card. And I did notice about this card, someone like chewed off that bottom lip that's usually on there. I don't know what happened there. That's really bizarre. It's a good thing I have another dead card with one of these on it. I can just use it off that other one. Oh no, barcode. God forbid. Anyway, this car will be going right in the machine now. So it said it had a little protective plastic thing over the label. So I just want to show you guys how shiny the label is. I'm the first one to peel the plastic off. Nice and shiny. I like it. Alright, the card's in the machine. And there you have it.
It has a nice fan on it. It's not a fanless thing and a fanless case, pretty much, apart from the power supply fan and the front fan. Alright, now that I've turned off the thing in the BIOS that makes it turn on automatically, I'll test this out with Ubuntu. See what happens. Ubuntu 12.04. Just boot from the CD here. These light on DVD drives are kind of a pain. They don't like to work unless they're completely horizontal. At least the tray didn't want to open. So let's start this, and see how it rolls. Okay, a bunch of 1204 is still buggy. I need to use something else, so I'm going to use Mint 11, which I have on this USB stick. So I'll stick that in the front. This thing will shut off, turn it back on. So I want to test this little graphics card out. Tap F12 a few times. Wait for the BIOS to catch up. So I hear it meep at me, I know it's working. USB device. Alright, Mint. Let's try it out. So I guess I'll just do a quick install of Linux Mint and then see if I can't get a Phoenix Viewer and Second Life working on this computer just to see how uh, good the graphics are. Hopefully they're, hopefully they're good enough to run Second Life or I could use this next to my bed because I don't really need a quad-core machine next to my bed. <laughs> Okay, so I got Linux Mint 11 installed here, and I got Second Life up and running. Dude, this card is awesome. I'm getting very playable frames. My character's still rendering, so it's jumping around a lot, but it's getting upwards of 40, 50 frames, which is, which is perfect for Second Life. You don't need much more than that. I mean, look how smoothly I can walk around. Shut up, Phoenix. There we go. Look how smoothly I can walk around. See how smoothly I can walk around? It's perfectly fine. Good. Very good. This car can handle, handle OpenGL very, very, very well. I'm happy with that. Very happy with that. So, I think this will definitely be a bedside computer. Um, yeah. I'm going to put Windows on it, though, just because uh, Linux clearly is still in, a, still in a paradigm shift and not ready to be used by me yet, at least with the NVIDIA cards right now. Um, yeah. Um, I'm impressed. It's a much faster and much more responsive machine now. I like it very much. Um, there you go. Other than that... That's just been a little bit of an upgrade to this machine. I guess we can just take a look inside while it's running. No harm in that. If I can get the damn cover off. The thing that I worry about with these graphics cards is these little fans here. They run awfully fast. And I think that would make them die quicker, but I don't know. I really don't know. I suppose I could just put a new cooler on if it dies, but... Eh, whatever. There you have it. Out of focus. That's better. But yeah, there you have it. This chipset gets pretty hot, actually. Damn, that gets really hot. So it's pulling hot air from... So it's pulling hot from this chipset. And warm from the processor. This this one gets hot especially. That's just crazy. Anyway, um There you have it. Have a good one everybody. Ciao. Just as uh so you guys know I decided to move the uh the 4800 plus out of my uh secondary machine. I decided to move it over into this machine since that's where it was going to end up in the first place since this machine's going to get a Phenom 2 X6 eventually. The 4800 Plus would have gone in here anyway, so I'll just use the 4200 Plus in this machine for now and leave the 4800 Plus in here. And this computer should be pretty fast. Be kind of nice. Be pretty nice. Um,
And that's just something I thought I'd add on at the end, so. Alright, so I have Windows XP installing onto this Dell C521 so I can install Windows, the Windows 7 upgrade on it. I put a 1 terabyte disk in here, so it's kind of been souped up again. Only this time, I'm not going to try to use it as a gaming machine because that's just unfeasible. All it's really going to do that's 3D is run Second Life, and that's it. That's what the 9500 GT is for. And the Core 2 Quad machine over here is going to probably be repurposed to a Linux machine. So that'll be one hell of a cranking Linux computer. Whereas this is more suitable to just sitting next to my bed so I can watch YouTube. Which, that's most of what I do in bed is just watch YouTube and then fall asleep watching videos every now and then. So, there you go. That's what's going to happen with the Dell C521. And the Core 2 Quad is probably going to become a, uh, a Linux, just a dedicated Linux box. And there you have it. Hopefully, once Linux fixes their issues, once Ubuntu fixes its graphic graphical issues, it might become that. But who knows? Who knows? It might become a Gen 2 machine if I'm willing to try it again. Uh, that's going to be tough. <laughs> the first time I did it, it didn't work at all. But anyhow, I'm rambling. Other than that, have a good one, everybody.